Hi guys, hope you're doing fine. I'm Douglas and uh, this week it will be uh, the week of uh, reviews. I decided to prepare three reviews uh, sharing with you my impressions about the pencils I, I'm currently using. And we are going to start with the Stadler Mars Lumograph Black that it's been about two months I'm using these pencils and uh, this is a set of six uh, where we have a HB, 2B, 4B, 6B, 7B and 8B okay and, and these are the pencils um, and I just uh, first of all I'd like to show you some of the drawings I did where I used the pencil so this is the infinite symbol where I used the black tones the darker tones here I use the Mars Lumograph Black. Okay. This is the first example. And this one, I also use it here for this very dark area. Okay. And the latest one that was the videos about the, the last week it was the Alfie Solomons from the Peaky Blinder series uh, there are three videos on the channel showing how I did the, the clothes textures and also time lapse and the final conclusion where I talk about textures but here is another example where I use it all the pencils for the black areas okay and now I will show you a test I did and uh, I did it four different tests using all the pencils so here we start with uh, HB 2B 4B 6B 7B and 8B okay <coughs> pardon so my first conclusion about this test here I just use the pencil, okay? So there are about um, three or four layers to get to this stage. And if you observe, there is no much difference from the darkness. Well, what mainly differ from HB to 8B is the softness so here we have a much harder graphite and here we have a much softer graphite okay the the feeling when you are drawing when you are uh, feeling an area you can percept that it's softer to feel the area and here it's harder okay also if you compare the HP and AP it's obviously darker yeah but the point now is when I brush it and then you see how it started changing yeah? because if you see 
uh, this from this yeah a difference that it is here and here uh, take a look it closer okay how it changes when I brush it yeah. Uh, the brush spread the powder and fills the pores of the paper so it darkens more yeah? and the third column here this one this one this one I use it the blending stamp and this one I use it the cotton so the blending stamp here and cotton here okay and uh, I didn't use the pencil to fill so I I use the sandpaper and then I sand the pencil and the powder I put the powder here and I use the blending stamp or the cotton to get this effect and it also changes a lot huh? you see the tone changes when we use it cotton and blending stamp the the feeling I had here is that the blending stamp burns the powder, uh, heats more the powder, so creates this effect and also creates some stains, you see? If it's possible to see, there are some stains here. So it depends on what you, you wanna uh, the effect you want to create, you, it won't be appropriated and it depends the effect you want, it will be perfect yeah? and here is very consistent layer with the cotton I really like it uh, how easy it is to create a graduation, a transition so my uh, my conclusions for this pencil so far is that they're excellent for black tones they are good for details because uh, They are a bit harder to release the powder, release the graphite into the paper. So uh, it's not that pen that kind of pencil you start filling or drawing lines in details, and you see the powder around, a bit of the powder around. No, here you draw exactly where you want to draw uh, just let me show you this tutorial here from the Alfie Solomon I use the the Stadler black so you see when you draw a line there is absolutely no powder left you see and if you feeling also there is no you don't see any powder it's uh, it's amazing huh? you see there is no there is no powder around huh?
and the, the mainly the basically the difference from the 8b is that it's softer so when I do the same here it's yeah it's really darker than the 8b but also softer you see it broke the the very sharp point it broke here but it was very sharpened even the 8b is very precise yeah? it's very precise so this is my first impression about the the pencils mm, i really recommend if you if you want to try and it can be a solution for very dark tones it can be a solution for that and for the next video I will talk about the the Koinor pencils okay so I hope it's useful for you this tutorial and click on like if you like it and see you next one bye bye